Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about something that should be on the forefront of all of our minds, which is sustainable fashion. And in particular, I'm gonna go through my top five favorite fashion brands that are sustainable. Now, did you know that 10% of the global carbon emissions are from fast fashion brands? I didn't know that either. And the fast fashion industry is responsible for more carbon emissions than the entire international flight industry. What? I had no idea. And worst of all, by 2030, the emissions by the fast fashion industry is set to go up by 50%. That's crazy. We all need to be responsible and do something now to help affect change. And really that's why I'm making this top five video so you guys can know what some of my five sustainable brands are and what they're actually doing. But please, please stay tuned to see who my number one is. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. If you want to, please leave a comment. I like to chat to you guys and build up this fashion community and get to know you a little bit better. All right, okay, let's just get started. So what is sustainable fashion? Well, some people confuse sustainability with ethical fashion. Now, they're two separate things, but they go hand in hand. So sustainable fashion is the effect that the fashion industry has on the environment. So it's about the CO2 emissions, it's about the plastic that gets left in water, it's about the water usage as well to an extent, and it's about the effect on our environment as a whole from the fashion industry. So sustainable fashion is about reducing that impact on our environment as much as possible, which is different than ethical fashion because ethical fashion concentrates on how, say, the cotton is grown, obviously how much water consumption is used in that cotton growth. It's also about fair and good wages for workers and no testing on animals, which is bad anyway. I don't know why brands do test on animals and I don't think many brands do test on animals anymore, but there are some brands out there that still do. <sighs> Don't want that. So yeah, sustainability is about minimizing the effect on our environment. And it's also about that buy once, wear for a lifetime kind of mentality. So let's just get started with my number five, Columbia. Now, if you know Columbia, it is a hiking, outdoors, active brand. But did you know they did a jacket made from 100% recycled bottles? It's amazing. So the reason that Columbia is my number five and not higher on my list is because it actually has only one garment in its entire collection that is sustainable. And it's called the Out Dry Extreme Eco Jacket. It's really good because it's 100% recycled fabric made from 21 bottles, which is great. And the fabric has no dyes, no additional chemicals or anything like that, which is great because it also saves 13 gallons of water. Now water consumption in the fashion industry is a big thing, especially when producing cottons and things like that. The less water that you can use, the better on the environment because we don't want them oceans being depleted, do we? No. So this is a small collection with only two colors. So for that reason, that's why it's my number five. I'll leave all links to what I'm talking about down in the description below. Okay. Okay, so my number four, Prada Renylon. Now, Prada is a massive global known brand, and you would hope that these global brands are doing as much as possible to contribute to reducing global warming as much as possible, and also making the majority of their collection as sustainable as possible. Now, the Prada Renylon collection is only bags. It's still a step in the right direction. And I have to say the bags are absolutely great. They look amazing. So the Renylon collection is made from recycled nylons, collected fishing lines out of the ocean. It's made from carpets and all of these different discarded materials, remade, remastered, re-dyed, and all of that sort of stuff to be made into this new collection. And because of the way it's made, it actually reduces the amount of emissions that are made when producing normal bags by 90%, which is huge. Every company tried to do a range where it was focusing on reducing its carbon footprint and emissions by 90%. Can you imagine? it'd be good. We would save the world, would we? Yeah, we'd save, we'd save a good portion of the world. So talking about the bags, they're actually stylish and on trend. You know, nylon's a big trend within the fashion industry. Sustainability is a big movement. So moving towards that more sustainable fabric is a good positive thing. The only downside with the Prada re-nylon is they're not very affordable. 
and actually it was a small run for a salvages exclusive. Now what I do know is that Prada have actually incorporated this re-nylon in some of its other bag ranges. So majority of the time when you go onto the Prada website and you buy a nylon bag it will be made from this re-nylon but you should check the descriptions to make sure that if you're buying a nylon bag it is actually this re-nylon so you're supporting the cause. But overall it's a really good initiative. It's great to see some higher end global brands participating in the reduction of plastics and emissions and all of these kind of nasty stuff that's going into our environment and it's nice to see that a global company is taking responsibility and they're trying to sort the problem out. So my number three, Stella McCartney. Stella McCartney is an activist. She's very outspoken about emissions and, and global responsibility and the responsibility of global fashion brands to take responsibility and make sure that they are being as sustainable and ethical as possible. Since she launched her collections in 2001, she has maintained the ability to make ethical and sustainable products and really it is at the core of her brand. She started out with really cool athleisure wear and now she's moved into a lot more everyday wear, which is brilliant. Her whole brand is ethical, it's trend-led, it's high-end, and it has no compromises when it comes to the ethics of making garments and sustainability and all of that sort of stuff. So really, Stella McCartney is an amazing brand with loads of opportunity to grow and make a big difference in this whole fashion community. It really is amazing to see. I need some water. Did you know that Evian bottles are made from 100% recycled material as well? Oh my god, this video is just jam-packed with sustainable products. Who would have known? Evian, let's go. So the collection consists of both men's and women's products, which is great because sometimes when you look at these kind of collections that are more sustainable, they are either hyper-focused on women or hyper-focused on men, and generally the collections don't translate to both genders. So it's really nice to see that Stella McCartney has included both men's and women's in the collections and making sure that it's sustainable and ethical. I just love the brand, I think it's great. So moving on to my number two, and that is Zara's Join Life range. Now what's great about Zara is a fast fashion company, and yes, as I've mentioned before, fast fashion is contributing 10% of the emissions that are being put into our environment, but it's really good to see that a fast fashion brand like Intertex who own Zara, are really contributing to reducing that amount. So this Join Life range is really, really good. Now it started out by originally following on from other fast fashion brands that started a collection bin within their own stores to collect old garments and then recycle them and make new garments out of them. Now the Join Life collection is a small collection. There aren't that many pieces within the whole range, but the fact of the matter is, it's still there, it's still affordable, it's trend-led, it's both for men and women women and it consists of tops, bottoms and accessories. But as I say, it is a very limited offer so there isn't that much choice when it comes to the clothing that's there but what is there is actually really nice and I would wear quite a lot of it. And I've actually got friends who have bought this collection in the past and really like it and it wears well and it stands the test of time so that's great. So Zara have said by the end of 2020, so this year, they want to stop all of their landfilling from their offices, from their supply chain to reduce the environmental impact. They've not got long to go before they have to announce whether they have achieved that or not, but let's hope that they can because that would be a, a drastic improvement for fashion. Okay, so my number one. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? You want to know what my number one is? My number one. Drum roll. It's H&M. So as I mentioned earlier, Zara followed suit with other fast fashion companies that had started the trend of recycling clothing in store. And this company was H&M. So they were the first fast fashion company in the world to do recycled clothing in 2013. It was a whole scheme to get people to bring their old clothing into store so it can be recycled, all the cotton could be taken out and reused and repurposed into new garments. And it was a massive campaign and it was very successful. And all the garments that were reused and remastered and remade were remade into the Conscious Collection. By H&M. So the reason that H&M is my number one is A, it's affordable. It's accessible to everyone. You can buy it online, you can buy it in store, you can buy it all over the world. It's a really nice collection. It's for both men, women, children, and you can get home bits that are made from recycled materials. They have different parts in their collection that is sustainable and 
ethical. They use organic cottons and BCI cottons, which is Better Cotton Initiative, which basically means that it's a reduced amount of water, the farmers get better wages, and it's a better trackable way of using cotton, which is great. As I've said before, the whole collection looks great, feels great, and is really affordable. So really, H&M is truly leading the way when it comes to fast fashion and sustainability and ethical fashion, so it encompasses everything. So overall, that's why H&M is my number one sustainable fashion brand. If you want to know about more sustainable fashion brands, let me know in the comment section below and give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. And please, please, please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy CADs and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. And it really helps to support this channel. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Draw, draw, draw. Bye.